BF lied to me about a proposal. Advice. Me and my BF have been together for four years. The past year has been very difficult for me personally on many different levels. I had an unplanned pregnancy and ended up getting an abortion. During this time I had a heartfelt conversation with my boyfriend and told him I was genuinely looking to plan my future and think about having children and getting married because it has always been important to me. He said he was serious about marrying me and wanted to take me to Barcelona in August and he was definitely going to propose and that he even bought the ring already and had it ordered and delivered to the house. For the past three months he's been talking about the proposal and we've shared wedding ideas. Fast forward to August, I was extremely excited and two weeks before our planned vacation I got my nails done, got cute dresses and we even found an engagement photographer which we booked for the last day of our vacation. I was so excited I told my mom and brother I think I'm getting engaged. I'm just an excited girl. We went to Barcelona and every day on the trip I was excited and of course nervous. But it became strange quickly. We went to all of these beautiful places but he never proposed. Finally the night before our last day we went to a bar and we were hugging and he told me he couldn't wait to marry me. The next morning we had the engagement photo shoot so in my mind I'm thinking, okay he's definitely going to propose during the photo shoot. We woke up at 7 am on the last day of our trip. We were all dressed up and before leaving the Airbnb I asked him politely if he had everything like phone and wallet. I was hinting at the ring but I never said it. This is when he broke the news to me that he wasn't proposing because he wasn't ready. Mind you the engagement photo shoot was in 30 minutes and I was crying so much. I ended up doing the photo shoot alone because I didn't want to be anywhere near him. He wanted to do the shoot with me and said we could save it for later when we do get engaged. Why would we do an engagement photo shoot without being engaged? He lied to me for three months, told me he bought the ring. He lead me on and watched me get my nails done before the trip, but dresses for the photo shoot, he watched me tell my mom and never once in three months told me it was all a lie. I later found out on the last day of our trip, he never bought a ring and lied about that as well. Instead of buying a ring, he brought the ring he gave me for Valentine's Day two years ago which cost 50 euros and he said he was thinking to propose with that. The same exact ring he gave me for Valentine's Day. My question is, what kind of sick twisted person lies and leads someone on about an engagement? I never pressured him, it was all his idea, his plan. But it was all a lie. I have never felt so betrayed and humiliated in my life. Comment. I'm so sorry. What he did was cruel and unforgivable. There is no excuse for lying about buying a ring or any of the other stuff. He's not mature enough to say what's on his mind. Honestly, it's probably time to move on and find the right man because this boy isn't it. He's not going to marry you ever. It's been four years, if he's not ready now he won't ever be. Even if you were okay with not being married, what he did was incredibly cruel and embarrassing. You shouldn't be with someone who would treat anyone like that, let alone his significant other. I had an ex do something similar, lie about buying a ring, lie about planning a proposal, he disappeared for a few days and reappeared saying he couldn't do it. I'm now married to a wonderful man. My ex's actions saved me from a life of misery. I mean, you're three years more mature than he is, you're ready to settle down. He probably feels like he needs to party and fuck around while he's still young. But then he should have been honest with you instead of engaging in this psychological torture. I think deep down he was too cowardly to break up with you, and has now maneuvered you into breaking up with him. I wish you all the best in your future dating endeavors. It may not be a lie, maybe he was paralyzed from the anxiety of not being able to be forthcoming about not being ready. That he didn't want to let you down, and the situations kept piling up and progressing to the point that he couldn't actually tell you. I've done similar type of shit to my partner and he's done the same to me many times over the course of our relationship, but it's an anxiety slash situational response, not how we actually feel about each other. So you talk it out and work on it. 
you all just need to keep having conversations until you have mutual understanding of a situation that was awful for both of you. Ask him why he didn't feel comfortable telling you that he wasn't ready, before y'all went on this trip. Get away from the idea that he actively led you on for months, and be available to understanding why and how did it get to this point? Why couldn't he tell me sooner? Try to have a minimized emotional reaction with this conversation because that will make everything devolve into blame, but be open to what he has to say. Because at the heart of it, I'm sure you both love and care for each other very much, but believe him when he says he's not ready. Ask him what it would take for him to truly feel ready so that you can plan the rest of your lives. And then figure out together if there are steps you can both take to make sure the other person is understood and heard. Anyway, marriage isn't some race to finish, it's its own journey to get to. But you won't get to it by assigning blame or hurt on each other. It happens with patience and understanding of each other. Next story 2. Uncomfortable feeling between my husband and best friend. It's my birthday weekend and my husband flew out my sister and best friend for the weekend from different states, it was such a surprise. My husband is the love of my life and my sister and best friend were there to help me leave my first marriage, which was pretty abusive. I love these three people dearly. My sister and my best friend, Lisa, wanted to do a girls night dinner, so we all dressed up and went out. Unfortunately for me, I drank an energy drink on an empty stomach and felt incredibly nauseous during dinner, vomited, and we came home. Of course, I felt terrible with my sister and Lisa being here. When we got home, I started to go to bed and my sister came upstairs to grab some Advil PM so she could sleep well, but wasn't going to bed quite yet. I fell asleep and about 20 minutes later, my sister went to bed and my husband and Lisa hung out. I woke up three and a half hours later, it was 12.26 am, and my husband's not in bed. I looked down the hallway, to the direction of our guest bedroom, where Lisa was staying, and the light was on with the door shut. I figured she was heading to bed or in bed. So, I went to find my husband, he's not a night owl and likes us to go to bed together, but I really wasn't sure where he was. I came downstairs, was greeted by our puppy who was excited to see me and made a lot of noise. My husband was sitting outside and came in. He was surprised I was up, asked how I was feeling but seemed off. I explained I was still nauseous but came to find him because he wasn't in bed. He explained that he was sitting outside with Lisa. I noticed an empty bottle of wine on the table, cigar and cigarette smoke, we don't smoke, and glasses of whiskey. Lisa then came in and said, hi. We were just bonding, you know talking business and stuff. She repeated the statement again and then asked how I was feeling. I explained nauseous and she replied oh no. I went over and gave her a hug. She felt cold so I asked her if she need a sweater or a blanket. She replied no, and said that they were just bonding and talking about business stuff, again, and then walked past me and went to the bathroom. I looked at my husband, he seemed uncomfortable, and asked me if I was okay. I explained I wasn't feeling good and was going back to bed, on my way up he asked me again, and I replied something just feels weird. When I got upstairs, I quickly used the restroom and then Lisa was already upstairs getting ready for bed and my husband came upstairs. It all feels off. And now I feel like I want to vomit for really not the right reason. My husband knows something is off, has asked me multiple times if I am okay, how am I feeling, can he get me anything? Finally, after 30 minutes, I asked him if I was intruding on him and Lisa. He replied, no. I explained that I didn't know where he was, that's why I came looking. He said he was sitting outside talking with Lisa about his work, employees, the coaching he's doing, his daughters. She drank a bottle of wine and had a few cigarettes and he had a cigar. I'll note, I've seen my husband smoke two cigars since I've known him. I asked my husband what he was drinking. He responded that he didn't drink that much. I clarified. That wasn't what I asked, 
I just was curious what he drinking? He replied, oh whiskey on the rocks. And that they also talked about how Lisa is having a hard time dating, post divorce, and her life feels messy to her I told him that I wasn't trying to be nosy but something felt weird and it's uncomfortable to me but I don't understand why, which is why I'm telling him, and now I'm going to have to talk with Lisa in the morning too. Because I feel super awkward and am not sure how to read the situation because I love both of them. My husband replied that nothing happened. So now, I've already shed a few tears, because I am a little confused. I haven't slept all night and I'm not feeling right, and now I have Lisa and my sister here for another four days while I get to sort through this one. My husband and I have never experienced something like this and I am very secure in my relationship, or so I thought. I don't think my husband would ever cheat on me but something doesn't feel right and I really don't know what to do, it's not chalking up to the birthday weekend I expected. How should I handle this situation? This feeling is so overwhelming, new and sad. I believe in gut feelings, which is why this feels even worse. Comment. Don't you think Op should start talking with husband first? He was already a little more forthcoming about the nature of the conversation, Lisa's dating struggles, whereas Lisa was the more avoidant, saying it was about business, which it may have been in part. I'm not saying Lisa's lying or doing anything inappropriate per Essie, but I feel like Op's default should be to trust and communicate with her own husband first. And then also perhaps bring it up their weird behavior with Lisa too. She's spoken to her husband. This woman is her best friend. Why can't she say, oh see the other night, I felt a little uncomfortable and when you repeated the same thing twice, it gave me an uneasy feeling. I don't see any issue with asking someone that you're supposed to be best friends with. A best friend should never give you an uneasy feeling with your husband. If they were really just talking though. Neither of them should be all weird about it. It's completely normal to have deeper conversations while drinking and hanging out with friends, I imagine Lisa and the husband are pretty good friends, if she's Op's best friend. It's not normal to start acting weird like they were caught doing something. Sometimes when a conversation has gotten deep slash intense slash vulnerable, someone walking into it can kind of throw me, even when they're a person who has that level of trust and is welcome in the conversation. It's like the more people are in a conversation, the harder it is for me to catch the rhythm of it and when the number changes it takes me a minute to catch the flow again. Admittedly I'm an awkward person, but I have definitely felt a bit weird even in totally unobjectionable, platonic situations.